This is Holy Gate TV where God's presence is. Okay. Praise God everyone. Uh, today let me take this opportunity to thank you people and to thank God Almighty God for such an opportunity, such a good time that he has given us so that we can share his word. Uh, as you know, we have got future and hope because of what God has shared with us through his word. That is in Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11, uh, which says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and future. Through that word, we get assured that there is hope for us. Whatever the challenge, whatever the problems, whatever everything that we are going through, we will know, we understand that there is always a bright future that God has put in place for us. So that one brings us to today's discussion. Uh, I would like we share together something small about hope. Our theme today is hope. What is hope? According to the definition that I have here, hope is the belief that our future is better than our past and our present. Hope is the belief that our future is better than our past and the present. Through this, this one can make us worry so much about anything that is happening to us simply because we are, we are assured of a good future and a hope. That is why the Bible reminds us every day that through the salvation that we have received, we have become the children of God, the heirs to his kingdom. And he has also assured us about the eternal life. So eternal life is the main hope, the main thing, the main good thing that is happening to us in future. That is the unseen thing. Because I know even you, you have never seen about how eternal life is. How is heaven? Can you really tell that? So today let us read some two verses. Uh, that is 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 18 which says so we fix our eyes not on what is seen but on what is unseen since what is seen is temporary and what is unseen is ethanol so we fix our eyes on what things that we don't see the things that we have been assured of the things that the word of God has assured of the sort of like eternal life like God will be our protector those are the things we don't see, but those are that is where we put our hope, that is where we put our future, that is where that is where that is what gives us the strength, that is what motivates us to still remain in God's presence. So you should fix your eyes on what is not seen. You should fix your eyes on what you are hoping to happen. Eternity. Eternal life is what we are hoping to happen to us. That is where we are fixing ourselves, our, uh, our hope in. And that is where we should focus most. Because if we focus on the current state that we are living in, we, some of us will never succeed. Some of us will never live to see tomorrow. Simply because this world is the world that we have a lot of challenges, we face a lot of problems. And even right now as we are speaking, I know there is someone there outside there, you have short of money, someone outside there, you are not feeling good and you are not healthy in your body. Someone outside there, you may be having terminal diseases. Someone outside there, you may be living with cancer. But if we can now therefore focus on the right now and the problems we are facing now, then we will not live to see the eternity. Then we will not live to see tomorrow. A tomorrow which is a better day for us. A tomorrow which is guarding a future for us. So therefore, we should live and we should rely on the unseen and we should rely on the promises that God has reminded us and through his word that the promises of God are yes and amen. Let's rely on them. Another scripture you find it in the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 4 which reads for everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide we might have hope. Through the endurance, mark that, and the encouragement that we have in, in the word of God, the promises of God, 
we may have that hope. What a wonderful word is that. So through the encouragement and the word of God, that is where we find hope. That is in the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 4. That one takes us to what I have here about hope. Uh, there are some important points that I have about hope. Uh, I can say that hope is closely related to faith. And as you know, that faith is the assurance of the things that we are hoping for. So faith is like steps we follow to attain what we are hoping for. You need healing. What should you do? You take step of faith. You pray. You take step of faith. You, 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 you go to the house of God. You take step of faith. You trust. You believe that God will heal you. But our hope is the healing itself. So what we are hoping for is in God's time and in best God's timing, I will be healed. In God's timing, I will prosper. In God's timing, I will get this and that. That is the hope. Faith is the way we are following to attain what we are hoping for. So, you can say that hope is providing the foundation of faith. For you, for you to have faith, you need first to have hope. I'm hoping that I will get a nice vehicle next year. When I have that hope of getting a, a vehicle next year, then I take steps of faith, pray over it, steps of faith, work for it, start saving. As you are praying, you are saving. That is taking steps of faith to achieve that. So hope is what builds the faith. Another thing is that uh, uh, hope is future oriented. You cannot have hope for the past. As the, as the explanation we have placed there that hope is the belief that our future can be better than our old. So hope, in other words, is the future orientation that sustains us in the present. Some of us, we could, have died, we could have not been where we are by now. Not because of anything, but simply because we had hope in God. That we had hope that tomorrow will be better. Many people have taken their own lives. Not because of anything. It's because they have lacked and they have lost hope in life. So, hope is a critical thing. Make sure that you have hope. Also, another point about that is, hope is an expectation of good things. You cannot hope for a bad future. You need to have hope, expecting that God will do good things for you. That God will take you to another level. That by next year I will be somewhere better than where I am now. That by tomorrow I want to have achieved this and this and this. That's the hope you have. So hope, mark that, is an expectation of good things that will be coming in future. Hope is the conviction that God has gone before us. The scripture tells us that God has gone. He has gone to prepare the mansion. He has gone to prepare the place the house for us where we will be going after this life that is the hope we have it is the conviction that God has gone before us and is always present with us and he will never leave us so hope is the conviction that God has gone before us he is always with us and he will never leave us what a wonderful point is that if you have hope you will rely on God. Another thing, hope encourages us to be to have confidence in God. Hope encourages us to have confidence in God. Hope is the ability to see God in the midst of trials. You can read that in the book of 2 Corinthians 4.18. Hope is the ability to see God in the midst of trials. What is the problem? What is that challenge you are passing through now? Have hope and see God through that. Let God be bigger than that problem you are going through. Let God be magnified beyond the problem that you are facing. In Jesus' name. Why is it important that we have hope for a bright future? This one takes us to what are the importance of having hope? What is the importance of hope? Important number one, 
Hope encourages us to have confidence in God. If you have hope of a good future, if you have hope of eternal life, in other words, it means that you have confidence in where God is taking you. If you don't have hope, it will be very very difficult for you to rely and be confident with God. It will be very difficult for you to have faith that where God is taking you is safe. Another important point too is hope makes us persevere during the problem. When the tr- problems and tribulation comes on our way, hope is what sustains us. Is what gives us perseverance and is what makes us wait expectantly on God to turn things around. So when you have hope, you will persevere whichever the problem you are facing. Could it be health issues? Could it be lack of finances? Could it be fights, family wrangles and family issues, marriage is your marriage is cracking down, your marriage is failing, is tearing apart. Could it be life is not taking you the way you expect? But if you have hope, you will persevere. That's the only time you will persevere is if you have hope that God will make my marriage work. God will turn my lack of finances to a better place. Another point that I have with me, hope reduces the feelings of helplessness. And I know many people are fall they into the trap of this. You lack hope because you don't have something today. You'll feel helpless in life. You'll feel like like you are not fit like so and so are better than me. You'll feel discouraged when people are there, when people come with their vehicle, come with a lot of things they have. You will not feel okay. You'll feel like there's something wrong with me. And that will bring about discouragement. But when you have hope, will reduce that feeling of being helpless because you know your helper is God. Because you know your helper is is God, your helper live it. Your helper is alive. Your helper is working things for you according to Jeremiah. So when you when you feel like you are helpless, remind yourself that book of Jeremiah chapter 29:11. That's for God. That's God. You have a great purpose. God, you have a great plans for me. Rely on God. Another thing that we are going to that we are seeing also the another important of hope, hope reduce stress. When you have hope, you'll, you'll not be stressed about what will happen tomorrow. You'll not be stressed about what will I eat today. You'll not be worried. I can another point in another way I can say hope will take away worriness in you. You will never be worried. You will live a life that God wants you to live. You will live a life that is positive. You live a life that God has purpose for you to live. Have hope, and that worry will go away. Another another important of having hope in life. Hope improves your mental well-being. You will think upright. You will make great decision. I can compile that one that one with with the second point that I was to give that is hope encourages you to take positive actions. When you are when you are well mentally, you will tend to be making good decisions, you will tend to be coming up with solid decisions very healthy decision decision that will improve your life decision that will make you greater than greater greater and will take you from the level you are into another one i've seen that manifest in me by building the attitude of having hope even the normal things you do in life makes you to have to be you will be straight in thinking because you know Despite I'm going through this, despite my business is not working, but God is having a good plans for me. Therefore, I'm hoping that my business will rise tomorrow. My business will rise in today's time. My business will rise in according to God's timing. When God will purpose that, it will grow. It will grow. Whatever the odds that come again is that nothing will overturn that. So I have said the uh, hopes encourage you to take positive decision. You can read First Timothy chapter 4 verse 10. That's where you will find that. Another thing 
The second last point I have for today, hope increases your self-worth, your self-belief, and your self-confidence. Hope increases your self-worth, your self-belief, how you believe in yourself, how you believe in what you are doing. When you have hope, you will walk in a positive direction. Therefore, your worth will improve. Hope will improve your self-belief. You will believe in yourself. You will have that confidence in yourself. You will have confidence in whatever the decision you are making. Hope will improve your self-confidence. You will be confident with yourself. You will work out that boldness generally. And how nice is that? Because most of the people who, who, who commit suicide it's because they are not confident to themselves. That's why we say their self-esteem has gone down. They don't hope for anything in future. Simply it's because they are lacking hope. But if you have that hope, you'll have that self-confidence in you. You'll have that self-belief in you. Believe me, have hope and you will achieve that. The last one, hope gives you joy and happiness. If you have hope, you'll be happy about your life. If you have hope, will be happy simply because if you know that something good is happening tomorrow something good is happening ahead of me where i'm going there's something good despite I, my beginning there's something good to happen you will have that joy and happiness you will walk with that happiness knowing that let me work right now as i await for that good things to happen like when you are planting let's come to an example of planting in a farm during the time of planting People are happy planting that. Why? They know that in three months time, in six months time, in nine months time, I, in four months time, I will, my crops will have, come, will have sprouted and will have grown and I will have gotten my food. Despite I'm not, I don't have food right now, but I will be having food in future. So if you live with that, get, get rest assured that hope is what drives you to that. So, I can conclude by saying, let's have hope in God. Let's have hope in life that we will prosper. Let's have hope that despite the challenges we are facing today, despite the problems we are facing today, our future is still bright. Our future is still intact. Our, the God's plans for us are still intact. Whenever you face this, remind yourself this scripture. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 It's my prayer that God has a plans for you and God will come make it to accomplishment Believe trust in God and you will go far May God bless his word get encouraged today See you next time in Jesus name Amen Holy Gate TV, where God's presence is.